G'day, James from Better Music here, and today we have a very special guest in the room with us. Traumatic reveal, the new Adam T8V studio monitors, and we've been very lucky to actually have an early sneak peek listen to these. So, how do they fit into the T-Series range? The UR Tweeter ribbon design is still here with the beautiful HPS wave glide system, the polypropylene woofer, rear port design, bi-amped, so you've got an amp for the tweeter and an amp for the woofer. You've got XLR and RCA inputs with a plus 4 dB switch for balanced inputs or a negative 10 dB switch for unbalanced inputs such as RCA. An LED light on the back instead of the front, standard volume knob, IAC power, a plus 2 dB and a negative 2 dB high and low frequency shelf, designed in Germany and built in China, backed with a two year warranty, but extended to five years upon registration, and a killer sound with a killer budget price. As the name suggests, it has the biggest woofer in the series being an eight, the biggest cabinet in the series, as well as a more powerful amp for the woofer, rated at 70 watts, where the T5 and the T7 are rated at 50. This gives it a lot more headroom and a lot more volume. Individually, each speaker is capable of doing 114 dB max SPL per speaker, but as a pair, they're capable of doing 118 dB max compared to the T5s, which are 106, and the T7s, which are 110. The lowest frequency response in the whole range going all the way down to 33 Hertz. The T5s are rated at 45 and the T7s are rated at 39. These even go down further in spec than the A8X, which is the next level up speakers. It's no secret that I'm a fan of the Atom sound, but I've always found the five inch and the seven inch in their series, in all their series, to be the sweet spots. However, Atom have managed to make one of the best sounding eight inch monitors in this price point that I have heard. I'm being very pleasantly surprised. Most eight inch monitors have bass, but they tend to be flabby and not accurate. These are quite the opposite. I found them to be very tight, very even, and very accurate in their bass reproduction. I enjoyed the extra headroom that the larger amp and the T8s provided. They have a great dynamic range and transit response, and I definitely enjoyed the extra headroom that the bigger amp provided. As expected, it was a non-fatiguing listening experience where the speakers seemed to disappear. I did personally find, at least in the listening area that I was listening in at work, that there was a slight and very subtle pullback of the 800 hertz range to one to 2K mark. The large sweet spot, image depth, and high end detail is what you would expect from any Atom speaker. I probably went into too much detail about it in my last T-series video. You can check it out in the link below. I'm pleased to say that I feel the same way about the eights that I do with the fives and the sevens. And I was very much looking forward to coming to work today so I could just listen to them again. Some reviews and comments have mentioned that they don't like the fact that there isn't an LED light on the front, but it's actually a quirk that I quite like about this range because it means that if you're using this in a listening environment or in a hi-fi home cinema environment, you don't want an LED light on the front. You want the speakers to just blend in with the background, which makes this a perfect recommendation. The T8V is a great addition to the T-Series range for Atom and is definitely raising the bar for eight inch monitors in its class. I wanna send a huge thanks to Atom Audio in Berlin and Chris from Federal Audio Australia for hooking us up with an early demo pair. Click the link below to find out pricing information on the T8Vs as well as a link to show you the rest of the T-Series range, which also includes a 10-inch subwoofer. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. Wash your hands. Shoes.